Uh, my name is Sudhir. I'm from Kerala, India. Kerala is a place near the sea and has a long coastline. I grew up in India with the sea breeze and waves, and fishing with the same net as in China was a part of our daily life. Because I like to travel around the world, I have been to quite a few Asian countries and I have also been to some Chinese provinces and cities such as Henan and Hunan. When I came to Ningbo, I found the familiar smell of the sea breeze that I grew up with. So I stayed here. By this year, I have been living and working in Ningbo, in your district, more than seven years. In addition to my hometown in India, Ningbo became the place where I lived longest time. I feel Ningbo is my second hometown. Many people think our taste will be very strong because of the rich spices in India. Although I like spicy food, I also like Ningbo seafood. The seafood here is the same as the seafood I eat at my home. Joy Bang! Bang! Nimbo seafood does not add too much spices. Let the taste of the food itself conquer our taste bud. Just like Nimbo people, kind, sincere, and friendly. Nimbo people and Nimbo food are the reasons that attracted me to stay in Nimbo for over seven years. It's on Kohau now. Chew the onion, put hot chili on. Other things, try not to touch. I work as a director's assistant in India, depicting and presenting Indian stories with my camera. But after I came to China, I still like to wander around, around different streets in Nimbo with my camera, recording Nimbo life with my lens. I love this city with a long history. As a modern maritime Silk Road, coastal city, Nimbo has the earliest open port in China. Nimbo Chaoshan Port and Sanchenkao, where I am now, was the end of the Grand Canal and the beginning of the Maritime Silk Road. More than 600 years ago, it was an important port on the Eastern Maritime Silk Road, where Chenghe sailed to my hometown of India on a ship between Nimbo and brought the ancient Chinese culture to India. Today, 600 years later, I used my camera to record my life in Nimbo and every Nimbo person I met. It is not really accident, but I wait for a long time. He was not there. So I like his friend, uh, but I wait for him. Those photos are left in my photo exhibition and on my social media platforms and also cross the ocean to the magazines in India. I want to tell my friends and family who may not be able to come to Nimbo in person, that Nimbo is an amazing city with full of charm.